Okay, section E, solids, liquids and gases. The first one thing we're going to look at is density and then we'll look at pressure. Um, I'll probably split this into two actually and do density first and then do another one in pressure in a moment. Um, now if we look at density, now the first thing we need to look at is the density equation and I want to look at density in terms of units to do with volume, which is why I'll split this into two sections. Now, the equation for density, density equals mass divided by volume. Now then, we should all remember that mass is measured in kilograms and volume is measured in meters cubed. So therefore, the units for density should be kilograms per meter cubed. Now, density can start off as quite a straightforward problem. So, if for example, we've got a shape such as this. Now if we're given dimensions of the shape, so if they said for example we've got 2 meters by 2 meters by 2 meters, we could easily work out the volume of this cube because we would simply say the volume is length times breadth times height which is 2 times 2 times 2 which is 8 meters cubed. Now if we were then given the mass so if, if, for example, the mass of this was 16 kilograms, then we could say that the density of this is mass divided by volume, which is 2 kilograms per meter cubed. That's a very, very low density. That's just twice that of air. Okay? So that would be a simple way of working out density, but unfortunately the problems are not always so straightforward. Often, problems will be given in centimetres. Now, if you do this 40 centimetres, 30 centimetres, and say 25 centimetres, then you could work out the volume in centimetres cubed. And if the mass was given in grams, we could also work it out in grams per centimetre cubed. So we could do exactly the same thing, only our units would be different. They'd now be in grams per centimetre cubed. For example, if we work this out, the volume is 25 times 30 times 40 which comes out to be 30,000 centimetres cubed. So the density is mass divided by volume. The mass is 1,000 grams. The volume is 30,000 centimetres cubed. And that equals 0.03 grams per centimetre cubed. So if we were staying in the units of grams and centimetres cubed, that would be a straightforward problem. However, if we have to do density in kilograms per meter cube, which is the correct unit for density, then we would approach this problem in a different way. So this time we would convert everything into meters, obviously. This is 0.4 meters, this is 0.3 meters, and this is 0.25 meters. We now need to make sure everything's in kilograms. This is obviously one kilogram. So now we can say density is mass divided by volume. The mass is 1 and the volume is 0.4 times 0.3 times 0.25 and that equals 0.03. So if density is mass divided by volume, it's 1 kilogram divided by 0.03 which equals 33.3 kilograms per meter cubed. Again, very low density this object, okay? Now it's important to realise that when you are doing the lengths and breadth and height of a shape like this, if you can convert to metres straight away, because if you try and do it when it's already been cubed, it's quite difficult. Let me show you what I mean. If we take
a one meter cube box. So it is one meter by one meter by one meter. Now if we look at this box and we say how many centimeters cubed are in this box, a lot of people will say silly things like a hundred or ten thousand. In actual fact, it's a hundred centimeters by a hundred centimeters by a hundred centimeters. So a hundred times a hundred times a hundred is a million. So there are a million centimetres cubed in one metre cubed. So when, it's, when you're working out in length, it's easier to convert the lengths rather than then convert the whole volume at a later date. Because if you want to do that, you have to divide by a million in order to get it into metres cubed. It's possible, just divide it by a million, but it's very important to remember it's a million centimetres cubed in a metre cubed. Easiest way is to do it when, it's, uh, when you do your lengths. It's also important to remember that there are a thousand grams in a kilogram. Okay? And the last thing on density I want to mention is if you are given an unusual shape. So for example, you're given a shape which looks like this. So rather than using length times breadth times height, you'd be expected to use Archimedes' principle in order to determine the density of this. So, for example, if you were given an unknown object with a strange shape and you were asked to determine its density, then all you would do is you would weigh the object and then you'd need to determine its volume. So to determine its volume, you would just submerge the object in water. So if you took a measuring cylinder, with a known volume of water, then we submerge our, the volume of our unknown shape, which will now raise the level of the water, and we can see that the amount the volume goes up by is exactly equal to the volume of our unknown shape. So in order to determine the volume of an unknown shape, submerging water, this will displace the water by a volume which is equal to the shape. So that's how you determine the volume of an unknown shape when you're calculating density. Okay?